Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to solve this problem where a man is, is exhaling 1.2 liters of air through the straw uh, in two seconds. Well, this number can dif differ for you, so, so uh, keep in mind, just, just be mindful that the, this number is different for you. Okay. So let, let me tell you, let's go to part A. So the part A says, if he blows air at this rate through a drinking straw with a diameter of 0.65 centimeters, what is the speed of air in the straw? Well, let me, let me tell you how to do this problem first, and then you can either pause the video and try to do it by yourself, or you can just uh, keep watching the video for the solution. Um, okay, so the way to do this is to is to take use of the flow rate. So flow rate, that's Q for flow rate. So flow rate is equal to area times velocity. So this area is like the area of the straw, like the cross section of the straw. So like if, if this is the blown up version of the straw, then the area would be like this part right here. So the cross section of the straw. And the velocity is how fast he's blowing. So that's what we're trying to solve for. So if you want to try to solve it by yourself, pause the video now because the solution's coming up. All right, welcome back. Here's the solution. So, so do we know the flow rate? Well, the flow rate is 1.2 liters per two seconds. Um, well, we would rather have it as meters cubed per second. So how do we convert liters into meters cubed? Well, it turns out that... Uh, it turns out that one liter or one thousand liters is in one meters cubed. So now we can we can bring out our our calculator, our calculator, and calculate this. So so what we what we would do is point one point two divided by two divided by one thousand. And then the liters would cancel out, and we would be, we would just be left with 0 0.0006, 0 0.0006 meters cubed per second. So that's that's going to be our flow rate. Flow rate. So 0 0.0006 is equal to area. What what is our area? Well. Well, it says a diameter of 0.65, and since since this is in centimeters, we have to convert it into meters. So we're going to have to use 0. 0.00. So basically, we just multiply or divide this by 100. So move this decimal place over by two. So that would be 0. 0.0065. 0. 0.0065 squared times pi over four. And this is this is the formula that that we derived uh, from pi r squared pi r squared which is which is the area and since radius is one half of d we can say pi one half d squared and if we do that then then we end up with pi times d squared is just d squared and since this 2 squared is 4 and it's, since it's on the bottom of the denominator you have to divide by 4 so, so that's that's where we got it so pi times diameter squared all over 4 time okay and then our v so so now we just have to multiply this out and and uh, solve for v so how do we do that so let, let's do that so 0 0.006 times 4, just multiplying 4 on each side to get rid of it, and then divided by pi around there, and then taking the square root of this. I mean dividing it by dividing it by uh, 0.065 squared. So divided by 0.0065 I'll just divide it by twice. Divided, divided, divide that by twice. So point divided by point oh oh six five. Okay. So so my velocity is equal to around eighteen, eighteen point one meters per second.
All right, now let's go to part B. So part B says, if the air uh, from the straw in part A is directed horizontally across the upper end of the straw, so the second straw that's vertical, is shown in the figure like this, to what height does the water rise in the vertical straw? So we're trying to find out this height. Okay. So let, let me, okay, never mind. Okay. So basically, basically for this one, you have to use the Bernoulli formula. So let's see. Let's use a Bernoulli. What what is our Bernoulli formula? Well, that's P one plus uh, rho v squared, rho v one squared over two, plus rho g h is equal to P two plus rho v two squared over two plus rho g h two. I'm going to stop here. And if you want to pause the video, go ahead and pause now and then try to solve it and come back if you want the solution. Or you can just keep watching for the solution. Here's the solution for part B. Okay, so let's say P1, like 1, and since we're de dealing with air, we can, we can only deal, deal with air. So let's say since he's blowing on the, uh, in, into the straw, the air is moving in this straw. Correct? Yes, correct. And what can be compared to? Well, it can be compared to the atmosphere around it because like this is not connected to this. We just we just want to figure out the pressure difference between this point and the atmospheric pressure. And we know that when the thing is moving faster, then the pressure decreases. So when we figure that out, then, then you, you know the height of this is uh, gonna gonna affect the pressure. So, so, so the pressure difference is so. At me, so if this this pressure is less here, and less than the atmospheric pressure, the atmosphere is gonna pre press down into this water, pushing the pushing the water upwards through the straw. So this is basically how the barometer works. Except that's kind of, uh, except they have a vacuum instead of a instead of a person blowing on the straw. But that's that's basically how it works, and by using that we can figure out the height, because we don't we uh, by using the difference we can figure out the height from that. So uh, let's say one is the atmosphere. So 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 is atmos atmosphere moving? Well, it might be, but it's negligible, so we can cancel that out. And what is the height of the atmosphere? Well, if we doesn't it doesn't doesn't know, like okay. So, so atmosphere is here, and and the height of this is like here, and I and I think it's pretty negligible, so we we don't have to worry about that either. Okay, so P one is equal to okay. Let's look at this side. Two is the straw, so P two. We don't know what. We're trying to solve for p2, and then rho. Okay, so velocity. We know the velocity, which is 18.1. So rho is this is 1.29 kilogram meters kilogram over meters cubed. So that would be 1.29. 1.29 times velocity squared. So 18.1 squared over two plus well, the height is negligible, so we don't have to account for the height. So that, that cancels out. So basically, P1 is atmospheric pressure. So that would be 101,000 pascals is equal to P2 plus uh, that thing. Let's, let's calculate that real quick. Okay, so that would be 1.29 times 18.2. 082 times 18.082. Yeah, that's I only I just rounded that up this number up into here. So we I'm just gonna use the more close version, the real version. So P2 plus uh, 421.8. 421.8. Now, what is P2? Well. In order to calculate the pressure difference, we can just we can just say we can just say we can just say uh, 
we can just say p1 p1 minus p2 so because that would that would just give us the pressure difference right so p1 minus p2 turns out to equal to 421.8 because when when you look at here just just disregard this one for now just disregard this and when you when you solve for the pressure difference um, p1 minus p2 then you get this from from the Bernoulli thing. If you solve for p1 minus p2, then you're left with this. So that's that's our pressure difference that we are, that we're gonna work with. So how can we do that? Well, we know that in in liquids on gravitational surfaces, we know that liquids have this pressure that is equal to rho g h. So since our pressure difference is 421.8, 21.8. And we know that our rho of water, since since we're talking about this height now, we have to use the rho of water. So that's going to be 1,000 times gravitational force, 9.8 times the height, which we're, which we're solving for. So basically, we just divide this by 1,000 and then divide by 9.8. So let's do that. So this divided by 1,000 divided by 9.81. Okay, so this is more accurate thing. So we get, we get the height of... 0.043 meters and if we convert that back into centimeters that would be th four, four point, four point three centimeters what the oh I forgot to divide it by two I guess yeah so I'm gonna have to divide this by two four point three centimeters and since I forgot to divide by divide by two here uh, this would be actually divided by 2. So 2.15 centimeters is actually the height that it, it rises to because I've wanted to divide this by 2. Well, I hope I didn't confuse you more with all these all these mistakes here and just in this crossing out things. I hope I helped you a little bit at least.